Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Pseudo Monotype Run. Last time I made my way over to Lavender Town via Team Saturn again, witnessed Silver's heel turn, and the uh, wrong way, bugged Axel for some leftovers, beat two of the, of the Hacks developers, and then I mugged Mr. OC Donut Steel for another set of leftovers here in Cerulean City. This time, we're going to take care of the Power Plant subplot and probably battle Misty for the Cascade Badge. And maybe something else if I have time, we'll see. First things first, we gotta go this way. Mm, aiming up here, am I? No. Okay, no hidden item there. And this time, I actually kind of want it to be raining because I'm using a zoom reel. Of course. Yeah, he did, and you just wasted my time, so fuck you, bitch. Alright. Let's take care of this over here. Nothing over here. Okay. Okay, nope. Nice try. Pointing out what? The fact that you suck? Yeah, I could go back, but... Nah. Huh, oh, pick up something. What'd you get? Person berry. Okay. Really? Really? How the hell did you survive that? I know it's got a high defense, but come on! That was super effective! In, a ra in the rain! What the hell? Anything over here? Nope. Anyone over here? Nope. Yeah, Mount Silver is in Johto. We'll be going there later. Much later. Green mail. That's, uh... Oh yeah, it has the image of the Pokemon holding it. Okay. So, first things first, we need to actually go this way. Now... Go away. So first things first, I actually want to show you something before we go into where the power plant is. So this is an exit from an area where, uh, well, I'll show you. Go away! Okay, s shut up! Okay, so we can't go up this ledge, obviously, but on the other side of that is an exit from what is probably basically the old power plant. Um, specifically it's where you find Zapdos, but you can't find Zapdos until after the third act of this hack. And you have to give up the, uh, flutes in order to do that. Which we're not gonna do, because I can't even use the legendary birds in this run anyway, so what's the point? I'll show you where you actually enter that area in a bit. We're actually gonna go through Rock Tunnel before we go back to Cerulean City. Okay, this is annoying. Go away! 
So yeah, there's waterfalls here for no good reason, because they just love to make you use more HMs. Oh, here's Axel. Oh, and one of these guys, um, if I recall correctly, well, I know in Gen 2, he'll trade you a Magneton holding a Metal Coat for a Duck Trio. I don't know if that's still the case in this hack. You talk to that guy, they used to try to leave, the cop gets a call, and Axel tells you to go over to Cerulean City. We're not going to go directly there, though. Yeah, they're really going to make us go the long way around just because they can. I generally prefer hacks that make it so you need to use HMs less, not more. Hmm. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Anything over here? Nope. And now we'll enter the, uh, rock tunnel. There's an iron. Whoops. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure why it is that in the Gen 2 version of Mount Moon Rock Tunnel, the uh, music is only the first part of the loop from Gen 1. Probably something to do with memory limitations. They had to cut a lot out of Kanto just to make it fit. Wouldn't be shocked if music was one of that was one of the things that had to be cut down. The power point up, good. Anything over here? Let's actually go down here first. I think this is what I wanted to show you guys. Yes, over here. So this is where you'd have to go through after putting the yellow flute on the pedestal, assuming it's not bugged out like it is in my save, um, and then do the, beat the third act of the game. You can go through there, and eventually you'll find Zapdos. Back up on this floor. Hmm. Okay, I don't know why that's there. Get an elixir from here, and hey, here's the fossils! <laughs> you know, this reminds me of a joke. The optimist argues that a glass is half full. A pessimist posits that it is instead half empty. And while the two are bickering, the opportunist comes along and drinks it. Yeah, the, this guy's not going to be much of, much of a problem for me. Although, eh, yeah. Yep, and... Hmm. Yep, adios, Poindexters. Now that we're back here, we can go back to Cerulean City. Now that we're back here... This asshole shows up. The Rocket Grunt with a terrible grasp of what I can only assume is Japanese. Except that he also has a terrible grasp of his, of his own native language, because the same guy shows up in Unova, retired. In uh, black and white versions. But yeah, he just has a speech impediment or something. You follow him up here. Now, in Gen 2 Vanilla, 
This is the last time he battles the one for Team Rocket. And he's nowhere near this strong. But in this hack, it's not. We'll be seeing a lot of Team Rocket later. Anyways, now we're going to go back to the gym real quick and grab the part that he stole. And now we go back to the power plant. It's a good thing you can fly here. I mean, it's not that big of a deal to just walk back here, but again, it, it would just make it unnecessarily tedious. As if it isn't already. Actually, you know what? Let's switch over to, uh... Yeah. So the first thing we do is we talk to this guy over here. This is the guy who wants to trade you for a Magneton, which I do not have. Well, no, he, he wants a Duck Trio. I don't think I have a Duck Trio, but eh, whatever. I don't need one. So, anyways, first things first, let's go back to Cerulean City. Actually, no. We're going to Lavender Town, because uh, there's something here we need to go and get. We can talk to this guy now that everything's fixed up. And he'll give us something we need to take back to Goldenrod City. Because, well, you're not going to just be able to use the radio to, uh, well, wake up Snorlax, because the radio on your Poké Gear is broken. Instead, you need to get an item to wake him up. Now, that would be the Poké Flute in Vanilla Fire Red and Leaf Green, but this act does something a little different with that. But you need to go back to Johto to go and get it. So that means we need to go and get ourselves the pass for the Magnet Train. So first things first. We need to go up here and talk to Copycat. Yeah, here's the thing. You already have a Glaferi Polka doll here. Whatever. So yeah, we gotta go down to Vermilion City to find this kid's lost toy. Which is heavily implied to be one that Red gave her. So, eh, I guess that's sentimental value. Come back into here. I forget, did we talk to this guy for his rare candy yet? Oh yeah, we already did. But this guy is who we have to talk to to get the doll. Now we've done that, we go back to Saffron City. Next time, be more careful with that damn thing, will ya? So now, we leave. And we gotta take a quick ride on the train over to Johto. And there's no cutscene, it's just a black screen and a musical chime. And you arrive. And this allows you to travel seamlessly between Kanto and Johto without having to go down to Route 100 like I did earlier. So we gotta go back in here and talk to the uh, director at his office. Sup! Pokatar. Yeah, so I guess the Poke Flute's too cliche. Instead, you get a fucking keytar! Or a guitar, I mean. But it looks like a Poke Flute. I don't get it. 
Now we're back in Cerulean City. We need to head up to the, uh, okay. Up on, was it, Route 24? Yeah. Well, Route 25, rather. Anything up here? I think there's supposed to be. Ah, an elixir. Always useful. And we have basically the same challenge that we would at Nugget Bridge in Vanilla Fire Recipe 3, but with the different roster of trainers. Not gonna use Dragon Claw because, well, Fairy Type. Actually, yeah, Fairy Type's not in this hack, but. In the spirit of things. Yeah, go ahead, keep spamming Roar. It's not gonna change anything. Nice try. All right. Moving on. Down you go. Anything over here? Oh, okay. Nope. Ornberry. Eh, better than nothing, I guess. I'm glad you don't know any yet any ground type moves, or else I would have been in trouble. But most trainers aren't gonna use any TM moves or anything like that. All right, now we have the guy who is waiting to ambush you with a Porygon, who's a filthy cheater. Nice try. Nope. In fact, I was just getting warmed up. Okay, uh... Go. Protein? Okay. Forget. Yeah, I don't. It's not going to be of any use. It's just money at this point. And here's the last guy you can battle. He gives you a nugget. Yeah, nice try. You've never had one that good? Hmm. I feel really bad for you. Uh, Misty, I don't know what to tell you, but if the guy bailed as soon as somebody else showed up, he probably didn't have the best intentions for you. Just saying. Eh. Women. Oh, and I forgot about this. There's an orange male right here. Now we take on the gym. First, just gonna be of all the trainers around here, just to get a little bit of extra experience and money. I don't see why you were boosting your speed. I mean, Togetic is not exactly a fast Pokemon. And now we'll go back and heal real quick. Now it's time to take on Misty for our next Cano Badge. Just gonna knock you out real quick. Nice try.
That was easy. The outcome was never really in doubt. Yep. So, now that's done. And we're going to wrap it up very shortly, but first I actually want to give you a teaser of what we're going to do next time. So, see that? That's the Rulian Cave. We're going to see what's inside there next time. Anyways, if you like what you see, uh, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.